What's up, shit turds? This week on ACOB, we are weighing the pros and cons of being gay. So, let's get started. Okay, so, we all know that there's obviously pros and cons with anything, you know, whether it be going to the mall over going to school or eating chocolate over eating a carrot, you know? It's gotta be some pros and cons there. That helps. Okay, we're not in first grade, so I don't know. So number one, um, I'm gonna say that for gays, we're in a different, we have a different outlook, or at least, I'm just gonna relate this all to me. Uh, we have a different outlook on life. I see things, like I see people's imperfections and like differences as a good thing. Like I see that everyone's unique and, and I embrace everyone. I don't know, I just think it's neat that way. We are in a community, a community like the straight community. There's no really such thing as like a straight community. I don't ever, I've never heard that reference before. But in, you, you hear the gay community a lot. And that's because, you know, we're fighting for something. We're fighting for equal rights, just like the black community and the civil rights. You know, we are a community. We're trying to fight for, some, for something. We're trying to fight for something and we just accept everyone and we know everyone's going through. Plus, if you have problems, you can always can find someone on the internet or something and through different websites like Trevor Space and the Trevor Project and it gets better. Also, there is parades. So, who doesn't want to go to a gay pride parade where there's a bunch of gay people and people dressed up as girls that aren't girls and just men in underwear only. And it's just a great time. I'm excited for my first one. Just, I don't know, it's, I think it'd be weird probably a little at first because you're like, oh my gosh, people are like being themselves. Like, that's so weird. But really, it's not because everyone should be themselves, but. Okay, I get to understand girls and guys, like, you know, yeah. You see where guys are coming from and you see where girls are coming from because you kind of have that girl, you know, in the brain with gay people. There's kind of, you have that emotional side of a girl somewhat. So we, that's why we better connect with girls sometimes. So I feel like I get a better understanding of both. Also, you know, at least I know what it's like to be different. I'm pretty sure everyone does who's gay or, you know, whatever. It's nice to understand. I mean, I'm so judgmental on things just because I feel like that's human nature, but somewhat I've toned it down by being gay. On to the cons. Obviously, number one, stereotypes. There's always gonna be stereotypes, that sucks. And by the way, these are from different stages of my life. You have, you're gonna, you, I, I've been judged, so I get judged. That kind of sucks. Um, people assume things just by knowing that I'm gay. I can't get married in obviously certain states, most <laughs> majority. Bullying, obviously this is a phase, but you, I mean, you get bullied throughout your life, but obviously the main where you mainly get bullied is going to be middle school, high school, you know, grade school, K through 12. So that sucks. I'm self-conscious because of it. I'm worried about if I say certain things or if I say a word a certain way that it's gonna, I don't know, people are gonna judge me by that. And obviously that the fact that, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, oh my God, like saying that, you know, I might get judged by saying that in a feminine way. The rates of drugs and suicide, that's just, um, a con for everyone. Obviously there's a higher rate of suicide in the gay community and also um, drug abuse, you know, trying to fill that void of like, you know, no one likes me, you know, being lonely, depressed. Obviously there's a lot more psychological issues from the confusion and the so our society today with what you should be and then trying to fight that, and, you know, confusion. That's another one, kind of a biggie, because throughout middle school and stuff, and elementary a little bit, and high school, and now, I mean, I'm still kind of confused on things. I still second guess, being gay sometimes. I think that's kind of natural, I don't know. Maybe not, I mean, for maybe the phase I'm in, whatever that phase is, I mean, I'm pretty sure I came out to myself in like eighth grade. Last but not least, um, I put, this is gonna be sounding kind of weird, but live less. And what I mean by that is, for me, I feel like I, I'm going to start living in a college because I'm planning on coming out and like I get to be my whole self. And I feel like I've kind of had to tuck myself away a little throughout 
K through 12 grades. I feel like, you know, I think you understand what I'm saying. So that's it for this week on ACAB, from Grant at least, from myself. Why am I talking third person? Make sure to check out everybody else's videos. Have a great week. Go subscribe to me. Follow me on Daily Booth. Follow me on Twitter. Just follow me everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Doses.